couple of elbows here and a couple of punches there. You know, you never know what, what might happen. Look at me that, that, that I'm a time bomb waiting to go off. But they don't understand something. I'm a lot smarter. I'm one step beyond. The league's resident enigmas. What's up, and I can't finish this round. I don't know how team will trade. I look much deeper than the color of his hair. All right, now to the wonderful world of Worm. Dennis Rodman has a full throttle going again this week, and the league caught him in the act. It happened back on Wednesday, and another loss to the Jazz. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Rodman going out of his way to foul John Stockton, and then it gets strange. Rodman, during the discussion, makes contact with his head. The league on Friday issued an automatic one-game suspension for what they called the headbutt. Fined Rodman 5000 but Dennis proclaimed his innocence later, saying this Worm is being baited by the NBA. Why are they picking on me? You know, I really don't care, you know. And I don't live for the NBA. I don't like, I don't kiss nobody's ass. I did not hit butt Stockton at all. That's bull****. I admit to something, but I didn't do that. You know, I went up there and talked to him, but I did not hit but I think if I would have hit Buck Stockton, I think I would have been thrown out right there. You know, I did not I did not do that. People look, for some reason, they look at something that I do to, you know, to, to really piss me off. But it's not going to piss me off. I'm going to smile, you know, and keep right on going. And they want to keep screwing me. Hey, go ahead and do it. So there you have it. And Dennis Rodman is off the costume design committee. He's had enough of the politicking. Still the Bulls were up by 10 at the half. Then it got a little ugly here. Scramble for a loose ball. Hill, Dennis Rodman. Rodman kind of flings him to the floor. Look at Hill get up and do some shoving there. Hey, got to make a statement, I guess. But Rodman is going to have the last laugh after a double technical on that play. He's guarding Hill here and a little short. Grant on that jumper. But wait, Dennis isn't finished with the mind games. He comes back, Dennis Rodman for three. And that's how it's done. He knocks down the three ball, and the Bulls are a winner, 103 to 88. They have beaten Detroit now in 19 straight games over four seasons. CNN SI's Laura Oakman has more on this one from Chicago. The Chicago Bulls and the Detroit Pistons may be the two winningest teams in the Eastern Conference Central Division, but the disparity between the two clubs is immense, considering Chicago has now beat Detroit their last 19 meetings. The last time Detroit beat Chicago, you'd have to go back to March of 93 when Grand Hill was a junior at Duke. We haven't beaten them in a long time, so, uh, you know, we, we can't hang our heads low. We just got to keep, keep our heads up. We fought hard. We got down in the first quarter, and, uh, you know, we got we to gotta bounce back. A little further than he wants to be, and whenever Shaq's in too deep, they foul him. And Shaq had a horrendous day at the free throw line. He was one for nine from the line. And from the east. After this shot, he missed it. Rodman, uh, yeah, Rodman got the rebound, but he, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Funk. Oh, look at what he did to his head with the ball. Oh, got that's all bloody. Bleak, yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, Bulls with 119 up here. They've got. Oh, Dennis is running like. Uh oh. Here comes Dennis. Doesn't look like he wants to talk to anyone right now. Oh, wow. An un unbelievably poor display right here. Someone threw Coke in Dennis Rodman's face. Dennis. Wow. Dennis Rodman being distrained right now by some of his uh, people that work with him. I don't think, Dennis, we really want to hear what he's saying right now because this is not nice. Folks, we're going to have a ton of coverage here in this postgame. Every single thing will be uncovered. We're going to talk to Dennis. We'll talk to Michael. We'll do everything, and we'll do it the right way. Folks, it's going to be a lot of fun here. Hopefully, things will get a lot better than this scene we just saw right here. But now let's go back to chat. I just kicked the camera and he decided that he didn't want to film anymore and he thought they had his back and neck and legs and and and, and, and things like that was bothering him. So, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some papers next time I go. This team in absolute tatters. Detroit has lost six straight. Meanwhile, ex-Piston star Dennis Rodman continues to find trouble. Isn't it common sense? that if you make millions of dollars a year and your job is contingent upon staying in good physical condition, you wouldn't go skiing, snowmobiling, or ride motorcycles. Not to Rodman, who suffered a separated shoulder in a motorcycle accident on Sunday. He'll be lost to the Spurs for a minimum of two to four weeks.
you know, apologize. This happened, but one of those accidents. You know, could it happen? Could it happen in the car? Who knows? He's a great player, and he's a, a very important piece to the puzzle. But uh, you know, we're we're pretty good. Period. So you know, they they understand that. They beat Seattle without Rodman last night at home, but this isn't the same as being in a car. Cars are a necessity of life, not motorcycles. Cars have seat belts, not motorcycles. And here is Pippen, and he misses the lay-in, and a foul is called. They had a five on four, but Scottie Pippen could not convert. He'll shoot two, however, from that, the line. When that shot is blocked at the other end of the floor. And the rebound pulled down, and Dennis Rodman goes out of bounds trying to get it. He hits the ball and he's hollering at the photographer. He's hollering at him and Phil Jackson gives him a big round of applause. If you weren't there, he said, I had a chance to save that ball. He's mad at that guy, yeah, I think. Shot. Oh, he didn't like all that. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want him mad at me. Oh, it is. Look at him. What, yeah. what, what happened? I don't know. I, that's just a terrible place to sit. They've got to put oh, camera yeah. people under there. But Bob Hill didn't need Dennis Rodman after the forward ignored a team huddle on Friday night. Was it for sure at all? I'm not sad or none. No. I was going to play him had I needed him, and maybe he would have saved the day had I needed him. I don't know, but you know, if I don't play him and we lose, then I have to accept that responsibility too, and I was prepared to do that. Well, the bad boy of basketball, Dennis Rodman, hit the other end of the basketball spectrum, suspended without pay. Rodman was ejected after tossing an ice bag during San Antonio's last preseason game Monday night. The team says he'll miss the regular season opener Friday against Golden State. Dennis Rodman and took another strange twist today. About 6.30 this morning, someone who lives with Rodman called the Auburn Hills, Michigan police saying Rodman had left home and that he was concerned for Dennis's safety. Police officers went to the palace in Auburn Hills and found Rodman working out on the court. Right. Certainly an unscheduled workout for the piston forward currently out of the lineup with a calf injury. It's the latest in a weird season for Rodman who struggled through a divorce and then an early season holdout before the injury. According to the chief of police, there was no evidence Rodman tried to harm himself he was obviously emotionally troubled, though, and indicated that he planned to seek psychiatric treatment. Head coach Ron Rothstein sees a pattern in Rodman's behavior. Dennis, when he was healthy and playing, uh, seemed to put his life in order. And then when he got hurt, seemed to regress a little bit again. The Dennis Rodman situation in Detroit. A friend calls police because Rodman isn't home in the middle of the night and a rifle is missing from the house. Rodman is found working out at the palace around 6 o'clock in the morning Thursday. The rifle was in his truck. He was taken to a psychiatrist's office. Now, while Pistons president Tom Wilson has expressed concern over the incident, Rodman says everything's fine. In fact, he had dinner with his old coach Chuck Daly last night. Pistons PR director Matt Gobeck says the whole thing's being overblown by people who don't know Rodman as well as he does. OB without the Bulls, especially after their resident bad boy just came back. Is Dennis Rodman stretched too thin? How does Michael Jordan figure in this issue? We'll talk when this week in the NBA returns. Stay with us. Well, some say maybe the best hope for the opposition is maybe the Bulls will beat themselves. Dennis Rodman's focus has been a question. Last week on the show, you probably read between the beeps or read his lips during Rodman's post-game tirade that led to the Bulls suspending him two games. Chicago didn't miss a beat, though, without him and won both games. In fact, last night they took on the Hornets, and here came Rodman again. Would he behave? Well, watch off the Glenn Rice miss. Long rebound, always in position. One of 23 he would snag on the night. Watch Rodman banging down low. Hard fall, near scuffle. He keeps his cool. No harm, no fall. Rodman is on. He can control an opponent and, of course, the boards, but his performances have been spotty this season. Yes. Do you think at age 35 you've seen any signs of slippage in his game? Just a little bit, Nick, but I think a lot of it has been maybe what Michael Jordan has said. Maybe he isn't quite as focused as he has been, but Michael is very good at keeping everybody focused, saying whatever it takes to make them play a better game. Will he listen? Have they actually discussed things? Well, this, this is going to be the ultimate test of uh, Jordan's influence, because Jordan has tried to talk to Rodman. He was worried about Rodman's focus long before that tirade last week, um, but Rodman has, really hasn't been very receptive to those talks. That's why you've seen Jordan come out and say some things in the press, kind of trying to challenge 
Rodman to, uh, to get that intensity back that he had last year. Um, it's anybody's guess, really, as to whether Jordan's going to be able to get Rodman back on the right track. Um, but I know that there are a lot of teams around the league who's, who are hoping that Jordan won't be able to do it. Bulls try to come back. Rodman, though, is called for charging. Doesn't like the call. He's already got one technical on him. And yes, Mike Mathis over there gives him another one and waves goodbye. And Dennis was out of the game. More on him in just a moment. But uh, one of the bigger stories is that the uh, Toronto Raptors have defeated the Chicago Bulls in Toronto. Uh, 97 to 89 the final score in a game where Dennis Rodman was ejected for technicals in that contest afterwards a scathing tirade against the league and officiating this is part of it a toned down version it's ridiculous it's really ridiculous when you sit there I do this I do this I mean you can't do anything I, I mean, it's sad it's really sad how this league has turned out to be you know David Stern's got all these referees and they, the girls got these referees wearing diapers they can't be masked themselves and make a call and stand up for themselves i can't believe that well uh dennis also talks about david thorne which i guess is a hybrid between david stern and rod thorne and it doesn't matter because they're both probably going to call him with with fines but what, what's going on with dennis he's got a little pressure on him from all over hasn't he? yeah he does and he may have a point about getting the quick tease but Michael Jordan questioned his motivation yesterday. He said a couple of power forwards. He said Ben Baker, P.J. Brown had both outplayed him. And maybe Rodman is more concerned with MTV and this type of things and winning another championship. But Michael does that. He questions and challenges everybody. So he just wants him to be as good as he can be and win another championship. Rodman, intense and out of control. You young players remember, keep your cool, pause for points. Okay? In the last place. Dennis Rodman with purple hair, perhaps a tribute to the late Cesar Romero. He gets on Eldon Campbell. He had to be chased by the ref, restrained, and then tossed out. He wasn't around to see this. What a shot. Quarter, some taunting going on. Rodman going, going, gone. Double trouble, double tech. When Stacy King, Dennis Rodman exchanging words, and Rodman with a little bit of a head button. King, oh, takes a shot at him. Rodman says, no problem, I'm innocent. They both get ejected. The worm beats up on a computer. Meanwhile, the Spurs getting beat inside. A bit of on-court battery from the Spurs-Bulls game Saturday night. Stacy King's running into an enraged Dennis Rodman. The man with the rust-colored hair then surprises everybody, including King with the headbutt. King retaliates with the open hands to the face. Results, Rodman's fined $7,500 and suspended one game because he obviously didn't leave the court in a timely and sportsmanlike manner after being told to get out. King receives $2,500 fine and a one-game suspension for his response with the headbutt. Or to the headbutt, I don't know. You figure it out. Craig, a little frustration for the worm. Call for the flagrant foul, and he nearly hits John Lucas. Lucas said he feared he was going to hit him. Sit him down. Sit him down is what he does. And then, Miguel Knight, the penetration. Check out Rodman. Check out Rodman, knocking the ball out. Spurs lead is fine. Is there anything that you want more than a rebound? Uh, I like to be in the trenches, be among the, the dinosaurs underneath there. I like to bump heads with the, the bulls that's running in Rome and things like that. You know, I like to get in that tomboy and the blood, sweat, and tears, if they want to call it. And uh, I, I want to be in, in the mix of everything. I want to be in the battlefields. I want to be in the front line so Michael Jordan, Scott Pippen, Steve Kerr, Ku Coach, and all those guys can be free to do what they want to do. Now, I have no problem with that, that I'm like the oddball. I have a pissed navel, I have colored hair, I got tattoos, I got this and I got that. But it doesn't change the way I am inside. You know, I don't want no publicity. I don't want to be a superstar. I don't want to be a star. I want to go out there and get my nose broken. I want to go out there and get cut. I want to do this, I want to do that. There's something that's going to really just, just bring out the, the hurt, the pain. I want to feel that. I'm a success because the heart is there, the desire, the will, the determination, the drive, to drive, don't give up for no reason. I hear a lot of players, I hear it, they say, man, don't you ever stop, just take a break, no man, I'm gonna kick your butt. An incident here with John Stockton, Stockton suffering a bruise to his thigh on the knee from Rodman, but that did precede his second technical of the game and his ejection. Dennis Rodman and the Spurs arrived in Salt Lake City this evening, and I spoke with Rodman about a half hour ago. Dennis, in your mind, do you deserve the one-game suspension and the $10,000 fine the NBA has handed down? I don't think so. I just think that uh, I'm me, and I'm going to do what Dennis Rodman's going to do. 
that's just the way it is. Did Dennis Rodman cross the line over the weekend against Utah with the Carl Malone situation, the Tom Chambers undercut, the John Stockton uh, knee? Hey, Ernie, let me tell you something. There's a lot of wor worse things has happened in the NBA this year besides them saying, pinpointing one thing that I've done in a game or saying that I deliberately put my knee at John Stockton. Why are they pinpointing the things that I do in a game? What about certain things that people do in a game? The hard fouls, the pick and roll, the uh, going off and uh, getting, getting hit. What about those things? Do they count at all? I'm not... I just uh, want to know, I just want to know that. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure... I'm sure there are, there are other hard uh, fouls going on and flagrants going on in other series, but sticking just to the matter at hand, do you see, oh, their, do you see their point in the flagrants that they called in, in the Utah series? I mean, were those, was that clean basketball, Dennis? That's clean basketball. I didn't deliberately do that. I mean, they said that I went under Chum Chambers and uh, basically chopped him down. You know, I don't think I actually, accidentally, I didn't do that. I accidentally, I, I just, you know, he went up. I went towards the basket, and that's basically it. And the one with John Stockton, I don't think that anyone can ever say that Dennis Robinson's a dirty player. I'm not a dirty player. I'm a hard worker. I go out there and try to kick ass, and basically that's it. You know, I did not go out there and stick my knee out and hit John Stockton in his leg. No. They're trying to say that I, I, I planted it, looked down at my knee, looked at his knee, precisely when he, when he stepped with that right foot, boom, then I stuck my knee out. That ain't the way it happened. He just came down the lane, and I tried to hit him, and I didn't get him. I just hit his leg, basically like that. How about the impact this is going to have on this team now? You're not going to be there for a, what can be a pivotal game three. And when you do come back for game four, do you think uh, the microscope is really going to be on every move you make? I don't think it'll be on me. I think people are going to say, damn, he's back. Let's, let's try to do something to try to destruct him. That's not going to happen. I'm going to go out there and, and put a smile on my face and go out there and grab 20 rebounds. And hey, if we win, great. If we don't, hopefully that we win the first game. And then the second game, we don't win, we go, to, go back to the dome and kick some butt. Basically, that's going to be it. You know, Dennis, you from, know. I, and from talking to David Robinson, I know he appreciates the contributions that you bring to the table night in and night out. But do you have to back down a little bit at the, at the risk of hurting this team's playoff chances now? I'm not backing down from nobody. You know, you look at New York's team. They're a very physical team. They go out there and do it day in and day out. And they look at me and microscope me and say, oh, there's a guy right there. We got to pinpoint him and see what, see what he does. I don't think it's fair that they, they, they look at me and say, hey, you're doing something that's not totally right. I think that's unfair. I think that I bring a lot to this game. I think I bring a lot of excitement to this game. I think people like to see the blind head bomber going out there and doing his thing. If they don't like that, I, I look at it like this. The, the game of basketball from there are men or men, and the sheep run like hell. That's why I look at it. You know, last year at this time, Dennis Rodman did the dude demolition man style. This year, fuchsia is fashionable. But it's the same old Dennis, the Spurs suspending Rodman indefinitely without pay for conduct detrimental to the team. Bob Hill, the coach, announcing the suspension after practice this morning. Just three days ago, Rodman and Hill had a meeting where both parties seemed to reach an understanding on Rodman's behavior and his role on the team. Robinson had 29 on the night against Charlotte. Rodman, arguing with the officials, gets a technical, and then he gets a second tee. It's uh, $500 per pop this year. Robinson says Dennis knows the deal this year. The key ingredient is that Dennis can't be an individual. You know, he has to play with us. And I think that... Um, I think that that's been explained to him enough so you know what what more can you say really you know you just it's time for him to show us and, and, and uh, show us that he wants to, to do what we're trying to accomplish enough said David here's a look at Rodman's rap sheet with the exception of holdouts can you ever think of a time when a player was suspended without pay before the season even started the Spurs are sending a message that's for sure Fighting Smith finally gets the rebound. Contact from Kukos, no foul. Rodman knights in and then throws it away. Fox can.
converts. Got to delay a game warning. I said white. Delay a game warning on the Bulls. There's a shot. There's Dennis. He was very upset, but he threw it away. All right, I'm doing what I've been doing for years, and we're talking about Dennis Rodman. When he came in, he gave the media a little bit of attention and told them a few things about how he felt about not playing in the last game. I'm not sorry to be separated from the team. I mean, I've been doing this, doing what I've been doing for the last, you know, four or five years. All of a sudden, it's, it's wrong what I'm doing. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing that, uh, that's hurt the team. You know, I'm playing basketball, that's so what I get paid to do, and whatever, whatever else is uh, it's my business. Are you going to be able to start and play tonight, do you think? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to start me. I don't know why. I mean, it's kind of stupid that he didn't play the other day because he said I didn't stand up for a timeout. But, uh, you know, I take this and uh, ride with it. It's no big deal. You know? Is it going to bother you at all I mean, during no, the game at all? No, not at all. No, I can play any adversity. This is my team. You know, I don't hate Bob here. I don't hate Greg. I don't hate anybody in the organization. As I said before, I, I want to win a championship for the, for the city of San Antonio. That's one of the things on my mind. Other than that, nothing else matters. He says, I don't care. I just want to do what I've been doing all my life, and that's take care of myself, make myself happy, and the rest of them can follow me. What is going on that's, that's making you angry, that's making you uh, ferocious, react the way you do? The rookies that come in this league and think they're just the the, the Casmiel, I think they they're king. They can't be touched. Anybody in particular? No, it doesn't matter. If you think that you're at all that and you all this, come on, Jerry Stackhouse. You know he wants to sit up and say, "Well, oh, this game is too easy. I can kick Michael Jordan's butt." Okay, I think Michael Jordan got fifty something on him, and all of a sudden, you haven't heard a word from Jerry Stackhouse. You know, I I just can't stand that because. Well, when I first came here, we we came to play basketball the way it should be played. Today it's not it's not like that. We're so, old, oh, we are new, and uh, we have more energy. We have more. Uh, our step is quicker, so we can uh, pretty much run right past you. But they gotta understand this game is a lot beyond just being quick and and, and um, a step beyond. We look at it as a mental aspect of the whole, the focus of the game. You know, you gotta look at it. What the weakness is? What's what is the what, is, what, what uh, moves can we make at a certain critical point of the game? So and most teams don't realize that this team may be old, but we're very crafty. Foul by Sabalos. Bob Hill kind of searching around. He's pretty much going to go to Hill and see what happens. See if they can get inside, outside. And there's a technical foul called on Dennis Rodman. Take a look at it. So Rodman gets the technical, and at the other end, Nick Van Exel will shoot the free throw. A terrific box out by Devox, taking him all the way outside the court, and that's a problem. We've got a 20-second timeout, and one of the things that the Spurs are going to have to be careful of here, they're kind of losing their composure a little bit. Both knock Doc Rivers, he kicks it back to Rodman, who can really get out and run. It's a steal by Savalas, and he gets fouled by Rodman. That's five fouls on Dennis Rodman. On that tip play, that was a set cut. It looks like Chabal's was set up for it all the way. It looks like they gave the tip to Robinson. He slashed inside, got it. He's going to the basket, gets fouled by Rodman. Actually, he slipped before. Sabalos at the line. 19 points. He's five of six at the line, and he misses it.
felt about position right early in the play. Watch this. Yeah, right. Terry Mills trying to keep a body on Dennis Rodman, and they fight hard for the basket. Michael makes the shot, or uh, Scotty makes the shot. Now, the next time they come by, here is another body on, but this one <laughs> is uncalled for. That's three, and that'll put him on the bench. So they'll go small. They'll go to real. When you were talking a little bit about the uh, subtleties of Dennis Rodman's emotion towards the referees, how he can't even clap towards them, well, he hasn't backed down tonight. A couple subtle things. He refused to get the ball for referee Jack Nyes, and he's starting to work on Lee Jones on some of the foul calls, so he's cooled off. Back to you, Wayne. Thank you much. Dennis Rodman talking with Jack Nyes, the officiating group, and uh, Dennis and Phil Jackson exchanged some words during the timeout. Uh, I think he was saying they're holding on to me like this. What are they doing? They're throwing me down, holding on to me. Am I always the guy that gets involved in this? Up short against him. Harper to the right hand. Oh, Dennis gets taken down by Reed. Least ball foul coming up against Don Reed of the Pistons. His fifth foul. Uh, Dennis goes up and he gets. Now if that was, I'm telling you, if that was Dennis, that would have been a flagrant on the side. So Terry Mills prints off the bench. Might have been a flagrant too. Had Dennis been on the uh, other yeah. end of that. Well, that's the reputation. They don't know Don Reed, first year in the league. Tonight. I piłka dla Rodman. Paul. No, jeszcze na dodatek to nie była chęć pomocy, tylko demonstrowania, że markował to przewinienie. AC Green udaje Rodman, że nic się nie stało. Zresztą za chwilę popatrzmy. O no, tak na granicy potknięcia znaczy, było, pot, jakby. Potknął się o swoje nogi, niewątpliwie AC Green, ale lekko pchnięty, pchnięty przypadkowo był, tak. zresztą przez Rodmana. Trzecie przewinienie. Sabonis goes down low, and you've got to think they'd like to get him the ball. Yep. Through the lane, he falls down, and a blocking foul on Dennis Rodman. Dennis is upset, and he'll get a T. Yep. Phil Jackson coming over. Well, you just can't come out and holler about a call like that. Dennis thought he had the right play, and he probably did. He probably did, but you you just can't come out of there going after the attacking official, and that's what he did. So Dennis gets a T. And this is what the officials upset at. You, you, they don't like it with to be shown up. Free throw is no good. You see Dennis with the T. The league's leading rebounder, you thought wrong. Even with Dennis Rodman nursing his separated shoulder. And happy, the Spurs are playing with the best of them even while the worm mends his wounded shoulder. You know, I hope this whole thing isn't contagious. A hair-raising experience for San Antonio's opponents. The Spurs have learned to live without Rodman. Uh, for them to play the way they've been playing without Dennis is tremendous. 7-0 without Rodman, but here's why they've thrived. You know, that's a good look. <laughs> you ought to try, Mike, right there. <laughs> JR in the category of best makeup. Dennis Rodman as himself. You know, Dennis is a great player and probably the greatest rebounder in the history of the league. Uh, we all recognize that. He's so conservative. Shake things up. Mm, shocking. Get your hair down. Please, lay off the hair, okay? Over the top, man. Be an individual. Don't let Robinson and Rodman Stop fool you. It's their newfound teamwork, not individuality, that just may earn the Spurs a little more primetime exposure come the playoff. George dipping inside. This is again. Rodman keeps it alive, and he's fouled as he's thrown to the court by Charles Oakley, and I expect Chuck we're going to see a little of this tonight. Here's the shot. Ewing goes for the rebound. Here's Joy fighting with one hand to get it up. Oakley over the top and just pulls him dramatically with the left arm. He's moving down to the baseline. Now to get into wrestling match. But look Charles Oakley. He grabs him by the hip in the rear end. Makes sure he keeps him off. Retrieves the ball. That's the only way. And inside, a loose ball foul as Pippen and Ewing exchange shoves. And now they're going to... Let's see if they throw Rodman out of the game. No, I don't think they're going to throw Rodman. They're technical gonna... foul. Yeah. Two technical fouls. Yeah, it's a double foul as they come up the court. And the Bulls, Dennis Rodman. Let's see where this all started under the Bulls basket. A little aggression right there. Started actually with Scotty Pippen. He goes out, he bumps into Rodman, then he pushes Rodman. Rodman just turns around. This exchange inside. Longley and Rodman fighting the rebound. Longley gets it with the left elbow and catches with the right. And Rodman says, wow, watch 
what Rodman does. Hey, big guy, you're getting tough. We love it. Long rebound to Robert Parrish. He has two offensive boards. Does Robert go with four points in limited time as Luke Longley's been on the bench with four fouls. You know, the interesting part, they're kind of standing. I, I watched uh, Lindsey Hunter and Joe Dumars. They stood at the three-point line. They've got to move into the foul line. I think when Doug looks at the film and they take a long look at this, they're going to say, we've got to get Detroit battling for the boards and sticking it back in is Terry Mills, and that's the best offensive rebounding we've seen here. Hold on just a second. What's the call? Joey Crawford has declared a technical foul on Terry Mills because after he rebounded and scored, he threw the ball, I guess, at Rodman or one of the Bulls. Um, Not sure who he threw it to or the official, maybe. But it was nice to see some emotion from Terry Mills on the offensive board <laughs> instead of standing at the three-point line trying to get a shot. As, I, as we said, Doug is himself a bit subdued here tonight. We were talking about that great cast of characters from the Bad Boys in the late 80s era, looking at where some of the players are today. Uh, James Edwards is living in Seattle. There's Vinny. Cuanto a título, pues es la segunda detrás de Boston Celtics. Y a mí me da la impresión de que la presión allí es muy grande, ¿no? Comparada con otras franquicias de la liga, ¿no? En Arizona, pues en Phoenix, las cosas son más tranquilas, ¿no? No hay tanta... Pero aquí la, la historia es completamente diferente. Ahí hemos visto cómo abrazaba a Rodman a Longley Rodman. después de... Oye, ese color de pelo es para anunciar... Bueno, él debe tener muy estudiado algo todo del, esto. Algo del bosque, sí. ¿eh? Un jabón, ¿eh? <risa> <risa> no le va mal con el uniforme de Lakers No, no tampoco no, no Bueno, le, le ha regalado el balón Rodman a, a Fox Lanzamiento de Fox y canasta Buena actuación de Fox Y había problemas entre Rodman y Chris Robinson Hasta ahora, Daimiel La conclusión que podemos sacar Del cambio de Del Harris Por Kurt Rambis Es que la rotación de jugadores es más lógica Sí que prácticamente se puede decir, bueno, no se puede decir porque son pocos partidos, pero que Robert Orri le sacó, era una de las primeras sustituciones el pasado domingo, yo creo que va a ir perdiendo minutos Orri, Sam Perkins, James Donaldson, gran quinteto ese, de Dallas, de hace ya unos cuantos años. Falta doble de Tony Rodman y Tom Gugliota que estaban luchando ahí, para un hipotético rebote cuando anotó la canasta Sakiloni. Tom Gugliota. Ahí tiene. A Rodman. Muy buena la actuación de Danny Rodman. Estamos viendo ahí la lucha entre Gugliota y Rodman. Debajo de los tableros. Pues Rodman si le mantiene unos cuantos minutos más en cancha, que supongo que irá a más. Su participación en minutos, Daimiel, máximo rebotador otra vez. Bueno, pues es muy posible. ¿sí? ¿Eh? Gugliota, qué bien lo ha hecho. ¡Oh! ¡Qué bien lo ha hecho ahí, Gugliota! Ya hemos dicho que el ataque de Finis. Los hombres, estos de Dorfín. El segundo cuarto. Estamos en Canal Satélite Digital en Sportmanía. Lanzamiento de Fox. ¡Qué gran rebote ha cogido ahí! ¡Extraordinario! Sí, pero creo que le pitan en ataque. ¿eh? ¿Falta personal en ataque? No, yo creo que no, ¿no? Por el gesto de este hombre. Ah, sí. Ahora sí. Sí, sí. Vaya. Pues se estaba lamentando Gugliota. Sí. Se estaba lamentando. Y ahora... Scotty Pippen to finish it off the bank. No. Nope. Rodman the oh, rebound. He got a loose ball foul. Yeah, it's on Rodman. Dennis. He went right over to get it. Give it to him, Dennis. No delay a game. Just give it to him. That's the third on Dennis. The first on the Bulls in the last two minutes. Harry's going to get him out of there quick. And the Chief is coming out. Boy, uh, Dennis not happy with that call at all. Going to keep going. Let's see if he. He's got. Oh, he's adjusting his whistle. Keep going, Dennis. Come on, Dennis is coming. Looked like Scott Foster was going to do. Rodman, did he push off on the rebound? Apparently he did. Loose ball foul on Dennis. That's his fourth. Dennis says, I don't think he's got a rebound. He's played nine in the first half, and he's been stuck on that. Pip's got 12. 
four personals on Dennis. Last night in Detroit, he issued a challenge to another of his arch nemesis, Charles Barkley, who says this year's the year he's going to take that rebounding title away from the Worm. You can see he had 33 in that one game. Well, he says if, if he does take that away, he'll wear a dress. Or that's what the Worm is proposing anyway. If he beats him with the rebounding title, he wants her truck to dress up like Lady Di. And you can see fans here already want him to go shopping at that full-size women's outlet. Wayne, Brett. What do you think about a mini skirt for Sir Charles, huh? Oh, How boy. about that? <laughs> Dennis missing his first of the free throw line. Yeah, the uh, challenge has been issued first by Barkley earlier in the week and taken up by Rodman later in the week. Dennis went out of two at the line, and the Bulls enjoy a one-point lead. 20 rebounds, that's an average game for you in this building. Uh, it seems like that, don't it? <laughs> uh, I, was just, I, I just do my job, that's it. You know, I don't care what people say about where you betrayed the Detroit Pistons and the city of uh, Detroit. Uh, it's not all about that. It's all about making the right moves and, and what makes you happy in life. So I had to make the move. We know how you like challenges. The fact that Charles Barkley says he wants the rebounding title this year, is that a factor for you? No, that's not no fun. I do my job. I get paid to do one thing. That's rebound and kick people's asses. I don't have to go out there and prove a point to nobody in this world. So, hey, Charles, if you want the rebound title, great. We're going to win a championship. With a long three. And there's Rodman, who can't see with his 22nd rebound. Not bad for a guy who uh, lost vision for the moment. Well, you can see he was definitely stunned. There's no doubt about that. He was, he was running right by us, right in front of us. You can see he was staggered. Right here, he gets hit by his own man, but he was hit at the other end of the floor first uh, with warning in a collision. It's popped right here by his own man. And then... <laughs> it was the bad boys of Detroit who put an emphatic end to the Lakers' reign, notching back-to-back -back championships of their own. But the road to a... But Charles can be his own worst enemy. His natural... You're here tonight. The ramp. 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 Remek labda, és Cage a pontszerző, 33 esztendős, az idén a Seattle-ből érkezett, 11 éve profi. 87-88-ban ő a legtöbb lepattanót az NBA-ben. Tehát a most látható, éppen kosarat szerző játékos. Rodman az, aki szabálytalankodik még vele szemben. Jó a belépés, Rodmem. Nyilvánvaló a személyi hiba. Nehéz lenne. Rodmem, az ötödik személyi hibája. Még egy duas canastras consecutivas. E aí está Denis Rodman. Impressionante Rodman, como sempre. A não te vais a linha de tiros livres. Denis Rodman. Suponhamos que haveria falta. Que bonita assistência. De Marc Aguirre. E o típico gesto de Dennis Rodman para festejar as suas canastras. Aí está, efectivamente. Na linha de tiros. Convertindo também em tiro livre. Seguro que está já em dobles figuras neste partido. Dennis Rodman. Un partido do que vamos a entrar nos dos últimos minutos, John Bagley, partido totalmente abierto, Reggie Lewis busca a Kevin Mahale, con él está Dennis Rodman, a falta de Dennis Rodman. Enfrentamiento rodman Mahale. muy veterano Mahale. bueno, eh, aplaude Dennis Rodman, pita a técnica. 
Aquí hay imagen. Habría que ver la repetición. La técnica solventa así con ese tiro convertido por Joe Dumars. Ahora irá a esa acción anterior. Algo yo debo decir efectivamente. Bueno, algo yo he dicho seguro. Queríamos decir que algo yo debo decir, pues bueno. Oh. Second bout. This time it was James Worthy and Dennis Rodman under the basket. This seemed to go on all afternoon. I would think Aguirre will remain as the uh, starting forward. Okay, good. And we'll get the prime time. Strong move by Smith. Oh, Dennis Rodman upset. Fired the ball with Charles Smith able to penetrate. Anthony chipping away. And a foul has been called. It's on mid. The Knicks. 56. Pass broken up by Ewing. Recovered by Newburn. Rodman. Oh, he is crunched by Anthony. Anthony and Rodman going at each other, and I can understand the point of view. Rodman's doing nothing. I can understand Dennis Rodman's point of view. He, he, he jumped up, though, Mar, from what we could see, and he, he was not seeking conflict. Uh, well, he jumped up in a way where he gave the appearance that he was about to go at Greg Anthony and then he did hold he, back. He is now though. He's going over for an explanation. That's a bad foul by Anthony. Well, let's say though Rodman really stayed cool. There's no sign of fire coming out of him. Well it looked like he changed his yes, mind. He was yes. about to go out of here's another look at him. Uh... I admire Rodman for his response. That's a flagrant foul. I don't know how he kept his cool like that. Rodman only a 48% free throw shooter this season. 48%. Creative guy. Remember last year when the dog ran out in the court in the middle of the Knicks game against the Pistons? You went over and picked the dog up and walked off. This guy is an unusual person. And the focus of good conduct. He's clobbered from behind by Greg Anthony in a flagrant foul. Everyone expected there'd be fireworks. And Dennis Rodman gets up with a smile on his face. You know, John, Anthony was expecting Rodman to go at him. And it was Anthony who was continuing the aggression in anticipation and Rodman was not getting involved. In fact, the official Danny Crawford was more involved. Away. Loose ball foul. Rodman landed on his back. Went down hard. <laughs> but obviously is all right. He's unbelievable. Well, you talk about the man of steel. This is Dennis Rodman. I don't think there's a player in the NBA that works as hard physically and conditioning as Dennis Rodman and its value is demonstrated. Oh, there he just hits him with a shot. He just hits him with a shot as they line up down low. Tommy Woods watching what's happened going on here. There he is. He sets down and there just out of the blue he hits him with a shot right in the kidneys. <laughs> That doesn't put them in the penalty, but it's a, it does it. I guess. The tough fadeaway. Rodman, Olden Polonese. More pistons. Rodman takes the lob. A couple of pumps, and Worm is pumped up. The pistons within one. More ugly stuff, though. Watch Rodman with the offensive rebound. He gets tied up, is stripped by Michael. And on the other end, look who catches up with Michael. Rodman not only fouls him, but then brings him to the floor. Another scuffle would ensue. And Ron Rothstein is tossed out of this one with two technicals. 
Back to the game under a minute to go. Jordan would hit two clutch free throws, as would Stacey King. Although the Bulls were quick to condemn Lane Beer for his foul, they were less than harsh towards Dennis Rodman for taking down Jordan. He didn't play the ball, and uh, he took him down, and it was a foul. But uh, I didn't think it was particularly dirty or as over, uh, uh, you know, upset that he might have hurt him. But I don't think that, you know, he was you know, trying to, you know, hurt him. I, I think he was trying to prevent me from scoring. I, I felt, I think, he was trying to hold me up. Uh, I couldn't really picture it as I was trying to catch myself, and I lost balance. He totally knocked me off balance. I couldn't really, I wasn't in control at all. Here's Scotty getting the pass back from Jordan and Randy Brown shooting. Not normally a guy you want shooting and Rodman easy. going easy, easy, man. easy, and they have to separate the two. Rodman got Urasan in the back and Urasan fought back. Well, the big thing with Rodman is before the series began, he says what you have to do with Urasan is to smack him around early in the game. And in game one, he went up and he banged him chest to chest a number of times. And you can see that's what he's doing now. Because Murison is a major threat in this game. At 7-7, he definitely is a major threat. Rodman has picked up three technical fouls already in this series. Now, just keep an eye on this. Now, Georgie's on the inside. Now, watch. He's got the ball. Now, watch. See, it's a cheap shot. That should be automatic. That's right, Georgie. I, hey, I, I give it to you. He can't let this guy give him a cheap shot. Hit him in the back of the a shoulder. They're going to call a foul on Rodman, but a technical on both. Rodman and Urasan. So, Rodman, as we said, that's the fourth technical foul that he has received, and he was thrown out of the game, ejected in game one, receiving two technical fouls. So, already Rodman can, then is Masons, Masons, one step too spät dran. schwieriger Charakter, Dennis Rodman. Jetzt wird er sicherlich noch ein paar Feinheiten ins Publikum schleudern. Wir kriegen ihn gar nicht raus hier aus dem Chicago Stadium. Er muss in die Kabine. Oh! oh. Da gibt es noch ein bisschen Randale. Dennis Rodman, seine ganz eigene Show, auf die er sicherlich häufiger mal verzichten sollte. Das kostet ihn ein paar Dollar auch. Und das kostet vor allem die NBA. Przeszłem fa. Nie mrawo, ten początek się zaczyna. Jakby obydwa zespoły miały przed sobą sporą tremę, przewinienie Rodmana. No i właśnie to się zaczyna. Podczas meczów tych poprzednich w playoffie był spokojny. Tu już na pierwszą decyzję sędziów zareagował w ten sposób, momentalnie upominany przez Michaela Jordana, bo już został ukarany przewinieniem technicznym za to lekceważące trochę odniesienie się do sędziów. Ale jest yy, podminowany. podminowany. Jest strasznie pobudzony w tym spotkaniu. To widać po tym chwycie złym. Parę razy już nie złapał piłki. Pozwolił się... No, podpychał tutaj rzeczywiście Kempa. A bardzo szybko dostał Michael Jordan. Hawkins Brikowski. Frank Brikowski. Paulowa. Tak, tu w tej powtórce widać, że Brikowski. Jordan, ale minął Peytona. Blokował Perkins. Nastąpiła wymiana uprzejmości między Rodmanem a Blitzkowskim. Sędziowie wkroczyli dość szybko. Tak, ale żeby się nie dał sprowokować, bo czasami wprowadza się zawodnika, którego jedynym zadaniem jest wytrącić z równowagi rywala. I to się bardzo sprawdza. Myślę, że Phil Jackson rozmawiał wielokrotnie z Rodmanem, żeby do takich sytuacji nie doszło. No umiejętnie, bo to raczej on w pewnym momencie odepchnął. Brikowskiego na szczęście sędziowie postanowili po prostu rozdzielić. 
15 Rodman against Davis. And they're top side on the land beer against Corzine. Clock at seven. Dumars on the wing. It's at five. And we're going to get a whistle. And a Chicago foul. Davis is hot against Rodman. And Capers and Hollins will try and keep those two apart. <laughs> there are really some bare nerves out there tonight, George, because all Dennis Rodman did was reach over and pat Davis on the hind end and say, way to hustle. And he took it wrong. He, he took it as a, uh, a slap at him. He just he reached over and just tapped him on the butt and uh, didn't think, you know, I think way to hustle. These two teams don't like each other much. I think you could say that uh, without reservation. Brendan Sir told me in one of our radio pregame shows it's like uh, going out with the same girl on two consecutive nights. You don't like her much to begin with. You're almost certain you're getting a fight on night two. And it happened already tonight. Dumars misses the rainbow from the wing, but Rodman rebound. Four and 45 to play in the half. Dumars deep on the way in the third. Vinny double gets it up to Saturday. John backs to DJ on top, loops back to Sally, clock at 10. John wants to take the baseline, get it inside, wrap around feed, no to Rodman. Dennis pulling it down and falling down on Dennis is Charles Davis. The foul will go against Davis. How can he hit the floor as hard as Dennis did and smile right now? Come up smiling. That time he didn't uh, pat Davis on the hind end. <laughs> he decided to stay away from that one. Davis was very sour in, the, in his, his attitude toward it. Vorteile beim Rebound. Auch wenn Dennis Rodman jetzt mit Offensiv Rebound und den Punkt und Rangelei mit Divac. Nicht viel passiert. Beide zu Boden gegangen. Rodman. Mimt wieder das Unschuldslamm. Weiß überhaupt nicht, was hier passiert ist. Beide, Divac und Rodman, haben ja sehr körperbetont in dieser Serie gespielt. Aber es gibt keine technischen Fouls, sondern beide bekommen nur ein normales Foul. Zum ersten Mal gegen die Hornets, dass Dennis Rodman auffällt. Im negativen Sinn, wir können auch mal hinschauen. Er ist der schlechte Wurf von Michael Jordan. Guter offensiv und Dennis Rodman. Und dann stützt er sich mit seinem linken Arm bei Vlade Divac ab. Er versucht sich dann zu befreien, klammert anschließend. Hier können wir es nochmal sehen. Jetzt beim Tipp-In abgestützt am Hals von Vlade Divac. Und dann ein kleines Gerangel, nichts passiert. Beide. Kuko, Jordan, Kuko, Esco. Di. Ahí la peleaba de mi Roma, Marona al suelo, sofá al suelo. Ha habido ahí, falta. Ha querido placar Rodman a Stockton. Ya le vi un cabezazo hace años, jugando creo con San Antonio. Rodman a Stockton, Rodman que ha protagonizado algunos incidentes a lo largo de su carrera en Solid City, ¿no? Una vez también realizó gestos obscenos contra el público del Delta Z, de promedio en la NBA y que este año pues Harper está promediando casi 10 por partido, además de 4 rebotes y 3 asistentes. Balón de Adam Kiff, ha habido falta personal, creemos. Balón, sí, de balón. Sí, sí. Estamos viendo la falta de Howard Isley, ¿no? Sí, bueno, ahí Howard, Howard Isley está en ¿no? movimiento. Ventaja de Chicago. 4-17 para que termine el tercer cuarto. Falta personal. Piden en el bloqueo de Malón, pero creo que se la señalan a Hart. Bueno, se podría haber pintado cualquiera de las dos cosas. Se está moviendo Malón para bloquear a Harper. Harper creo que sujeta al jugador de Utah. Y Malón porque se está convirtiendo en una odisea. Trading headline was February 25th and Dennis Rodman's name was prominently mentioned going to a variety of teams. You see what he's doing today in the rebounding category. Missed a game on Thursday against Denver. Before the game we had a chance to talk with him about all these trade rumors and the question was posed, is it best for him to be elsewhere, not here in Detroit? 
I think so. You know, I, I think that uh, I don't have any hate feelings towards Billy McKinney, Tom Wilson, anything like that, or the, or the organization. I just, I just feel like that everything that, that, that I worked so hard to have and, and the people that gave it to me seem like they're gone, you know, everyone is gone in a different direction. And I feel like that um, these choices have been great to me. They've given me the opportunity to, to to allow me to go out there and, and help this city, uh, the franchise, and everyone with the organization to win uh, championships, reach goals, uh, and things like that. I don't, I don't dislike the city, I don't dislike anybody. It's just that I feel like that it's, it's a change. I need a change for myself than anything else. Dennis Rodman is a young man who's had a very difficult year, both personally, some uh, things off the court that have taken place in his personal life, then on the court, players who he was close to traded away, a new head coach comes in, he loses a guy who was almost a father figure to him in Chuck Daly. He doesn't want to really leave Detroit, yet on the other hand, he realizes that if he can't be here and give it 100% all the time, that's not the kind of guy he is. He doesn't want to let his teammates down. So moving on with be best for everyone. Robin missed the 10 percent the first quarter shooting by Detroit. Bulls have kind of weaved their way back in this one. Ten caught in the two, and a foul called inside. Dennis Rodman will pick it up. McCloskey, you bring up a good point. McCloskey leaves and Chuck Daly leaves, and, and uh, that has affected him, you think? No question. Dennis here, playing defense down the low post area. Up, challenging as Dennis plays post people as well as anyone in this league. He wants the call for the three-arm push-off on King. But with the two people moving on, Jack McCluskey, Chuck Daly, they were the ones that brought Dennis Rodman into the NBA. They were the ones that helped him, helped him develop his game, his style of play, his role within the team. And then suddenly, when they move on, along with close friends like James Edwards, uh, Vinnie Johnson, uh, all the, John Sally, all these things have affected him. Now, if you look on the back of his head, the little haircut today there it is. says bite the melon and we'll get to that a little bit later on as to what bite the melon is let it go let it go bite the melon is something that he was saying to people that were criticizing his play and his response to uh the criticism he was receiving was going to go bite the melon so that contest here on radio and tv stations in detroit trying to actually derive the meaning of that here's bill lambeer nice pass to robin t-shirts come out <laughs> bite the melon and Dennis trying to be very nice in explaining what it means, just so basically people don't like something that's going on. Le problème était vraiment impliqué, mais euh, la police parle avec lui, là maintenant il va aller s'impliquer dans une autre affaire avec Steve Smith, décidément. C'est surtout Motumbo, je crois qu'il le, le chatouille un petit peu, et donc euh, Steve Smith est venu euh, séparer les deux joueurs, parce que depuis le début du match, de toute façon, il n'arrête pas de se chatouiller. J'ai bien peur qu'il soit d'ailleurs renvoyé sur le banc, euh, Dennis Rodman. Il a besoin d'un babysitter, là c'est Longley qui joue son rôle. Et voilà, maintenant c'est le, le prof qui vient sanctionner. Rodman se bat sur le terrain pour son équipe, ça c'est le Rodman exemplaire. Et il offre son maillot, ça c'est gentil. Mais s'il arrivait à se maîtriser un peu plus, ça serait parfait. Dennis is just you know, continually kept at uh, you know his communication, all the things he does. Uh, he invites everybody to a birthday party after the game the other night, and you know guys respond and go to a birthday party. Did I get him a birthday present? I don't think I can. I don't know what we, he would want on his birthday, and if so, I don't think I can go in the store and get it where he wants it. <laughs> Rodman was brought to Chicago to rebound. Communication wasn't exactly part of the job description, and so he really didn't talk too much to his teammates, and they really didn't talk too much to him. Well, two years later, there's a little less hate, a little more love, and a lot more understanding of what makes Dennis tick and what ticks him off. I can't even step on a court without, without the referees and okay, let's see, let's see, where's he at, where's he at? Uh, there he is right there. Foul. So that's basically what it is. A lot of things Dennis is getting called for. You know, uh, based on his reputation in the past, I don't think it's it's, uh, it's certainly is, it's not some of the things that he's doing. But I mean, quite naturally, you know, he's, he he dug himself a hole and it's hard for him to get out of it. It's gone both ways. I mean, he, um, you know, people hate him, you know, because he's out there, you know, creating all this mess. But now people are kind of changing their minds, saying, you know, let let Dennis play, you know, free free Dennis out there.